How's it going everybody? Welcome to video number one in Pigeon Genetics. This video is called Base Colors. Let me start off by saying the standard in pigeons and weight in which we base all genes off of is the blue bar. The blue bar is the standard. So when we say a gene is dominant or recessive, we mean dominant or recessive to a blue bar. Because sometimes things may seem contrary to what you say, but once you remember that we're referring to a blue bar, then it all makes sense. Now having said that, the blue bars are standard. There's three base colors in pigeons. Brown, blue, and ash red. And that is in order of dominance, from least to greatest. Brown being the least dominant. So you can always have a more dominant can carry a less dominant. So for instance, you can have an ash red bar that carries blue. You can't have a blue that carries ash red because ash red is more dominant, so therefore, if you have both the genes, then the ash red is gonna show, is gonna show forth. And same thing with brown and blue. You can have a blue carry brown, but if it's a brown, it's a brown. It doesn't carry blue. It's not possible. Now, the colors are all on the sex chromosome. That basically means that the cocks have two slots for it, the hens have one to carry. And for anybody watching this that's not involved with pigeons, birds are opposite of all mammals. All birds, it's the male who's the homo goat, and the female is the hemi goat. Ma mammals is the opposite. So the cocks carry two genes, two sex genes, the hens only carry one. So for instance, if you have an ash red cock to a blue hen, then all your hens are going to be ash red, and all your cocks are going to also be ash red, however your cocks are going to be split for blue. Now this is assuming that your ash red is pure ash red, it isn't carrying blue. Now, when it comes to color genes, the cock always gives one of his two slots to the hen. The hen only has one slot and always goes to the cock. So an ash red cock to a blue hen, he has to give his ash red to the hen. So the hens automatically become ash red. Now the hen must give her blue to the cock. And if the cock has two slots for ash red, then he's given one to his cock. Therefore the cock has both blue and ash red. And since ash red is dominant to blue, he shows ash red. Now ash red acts different than blue does to brown. Ash red flex when it carries another color, whether it be blue or brown. I did a video about that called ash red cocks don't always fleck blue or fleck black. Um, but if you have an ash red that carries the blue gene, then you'll see little flex on it. That means it's always a cock. However, like I said in that video, you can have pure ash reds, which is to say homozygous. Brown, blue, ash red, in order from least dominant to most dominant. So two browns will only produce browns. You can never get anything else out of a brown. Now you can have two blacks, or two blues, forgive me, produce a brown. Now if you have that happen, since the hen can only carry one slot for blue, that means the brown came from the cock. He's hiding the brown. The brown came from the blue cock because the hen can't hide any, any sort of color like that. So that means since he gives one color to the hen, if you get a brown off of two blues or a blue off of two ash reds, then it's a hen. It can't, it can't be any other way because the hen has to give her color so the hen, being a blue, has to give her blue to the cock, so you just can't get a brown that way. So that's called a sex-linked breeding. The easiest way to set up and prove out what a sex-linked breeding is is to do a blue bar or a blue anything, it doesn't matter the pattern. A blue to an ash red hen. A blue cock to an ash red hen. Since the blue is always going to give its gene to the hen and the hen to the cock, then all your hens will be blue and all your cocks will be ash red and there'll be ash red carrying blue 
since the hen gave her Asherah gene to the cock, she only has one gene for it, remember? She gave it to the cock, and the cock gives one of his blue genes, he has two, to the hen. Therefore, it will be Asherah split for blue. And when you have Asherah split for blue, they do show flecking and I've never seen it, but I hear they do the same with brown, that they show flecking. A blue doesn't fleck with brown. You can do the same thing with brown and blue. You can do a brown cock to a blue hen. All your hens will be brown, all your cocks will be blue, and all your cocks will be split for brown. And like I said, unlike being an ash red split for blue, the blue cock split for brown won't show anything, so you won't know it unless you breed it. So if you bred a blue bar that happens to be split for brown to say another blue bar, all your, half of your hens will be blue, half of them will be brown. You won't get any brown cocks off of that breeding. But that's uh, generally sex-linked breeding is how it goes. There's other genes that are also sex-linked, um, but we'll get into those in the later episodes. And stay tuned for the next video, which will be about patterns and how patterns are inherited. There's a little bit of confusion out there about why we call the things why we call it like a blue bar and what that actually means. You're not saying that the bars are blue. You're saying that it's a blue pigeon with bars. The bars are actually black on a blue. And the same with the T pattern in check. The, the T pattern in check earring is black. With the brown, it's kind of a creamy base color, like the shield color, and then the bars are brown. And the reason why ash red has ash red and not just ash is because Ash reds don't have tail bars like blues and browns do. Now, you can sometimes see a faint bit of it. You can see it better if you go if you look at the underside of the tail, but if you look at the picture I put up previously with the tail showing the black flecks on it, you can tell if there's no terminal tail bar like you have with blues and browns. Um, but like I said, if you look underneath it, you can get a better view. Sometimes you can see a little bit of red flecking. And I've noticed with my grizzles, you can see it even more on it for whatever reason. Um, but that's why we call it that. And it gets confusing because lots of times you hear people call it a silver dun. We'll talk about silvers once we get into the Duluth series of genes. Um, but when you call it a silver dun, I guess it's kind of half right. It is silver dun. The bars are dun. The bird is silver. But the confusion comes is like we don't call it a blue-black bar. You just call it a blue bar. So it's kind of like being inconsistent with that, but um, I also wanted to clear up some definitions I used in the videos, just so everyone understands. Like when I say heterozygous or homozygous, I usually just shorten it to het and homo. Um, homozygous means the same. It just means that, like we talked about, there's two slots for every gene on the pigeon. The only time there's one slot is with hens. And that's only for genes on the sex chromosome, which is color genes, and then we'll get into more later, like the lube. Um, and for hens, you just call them hemizygous. Just means they only have one slot. But yeah, for cocks and for all other genes, like for pattern, they can be heterozygous or homozygous. Heterozygous just means different. So if a bird is a heterozygous T pattern, heterozygous bar, it just means it's got each slot for pattern that has one, it has different genes for pattern. If you call it like a homozygous ash red, it means both the slots for color are ash red. So when I say heterozygous ash red, heterozygous blue, that's like the picture I showed of the ash reds that are split for blue. And when I say split, it's just kind of slang for heterozygous, um, but I only use split for recessive genes, for genes that are hidden. Uh, we'll talk about dominant genes later, but for dominant genes, I don't say heterozygous. I don't say split because you can have heterozygous and homozygous dominance, and you're going to see them both. They're both going to be displayed visually. So when I say split, it just means it carries the gene, but it's not displaying it. And I think that's it. If you have any questions, please uh, ask in the comments below. And stay tuned for the next video when we will talk about pattern. Thank you.